Hey, it's Vizo, and I love cartoons. I've always been told that cartoons are bad for you. The more you watch, the more you're gonna rot your brain out. <laughs> That's not good. Ever since video games got so popular, companies have been working endlessly to find a way to make a little thing called money. Now, the question is, what's one of the most influential groups of people to trick into buying your product? <coughs> Kids. That's where cartoon video games come in. Remember that cartoon you once saw? Don't worry, there's a game about it too! I always had a hard time deciphering how I feel about them. On one hand, these type of games were a massive part of my childhood. On the other, these were massive attempted ploys by companies trying to get money from my mom. Hey, SpongeBob! Ah oh, shit! See my problem? Well, they were created with corporate greed in mind. You could still have a hell of a time with them! As a kid, I remember always trying to get my cousins to come over and play video games with me. We would usually gravitate towards cartoon video games. You didn't have to wonder what a Mario was or a Sonic. Now this I get. These type of games made it really easy for people who never played games to want to play them. They had the power of brand recognition. But first, we gotta get in the right headspace. So it's time to pull out our inner child and grab the first thing we see. Shit! I think we're off to a good start. A great Mario Party ripoff I really enjoyed was SpongeBob SquarePants. Lights, camera, pants. A movie's being made for the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy anniversary. And the director, Gil Hammerstein, is looking for new talent. Hey, I know that guy. You have to do a bunch of mini games throughout Bikini Bottom, where you have to impress talent scouts by showing off what you got. Like most mini game collections, some are stinkers, while others are bangers. What I really love about this one is that there are multiple cutscenes throughout it, essentially creating their own episodes revolving around this premise. This was so cool when I was younger. My cousins and I loved it since it provided a way for all of us to hang out and basically watch a show as well. It felt so different, unique, and I gotta say, after going through it again, these cutscenes are still pretty funny. That was atrocious! Go back to acting school! I couldn't catch you in a pond with that effort! Get back in there and do better! I'd like to say they're all like that, but they're not. Introducing the original Avatar Trilogy. The first game took up the idea of an original story, but also combined action RPG elements to it, which made it such a unique, fun, and memorable experience. However, the preceding games were bare-bone cookie-cutter nonsense. These games were just retelling the show, but you were able to control the characters. They sucked and they really didn't have much substance to them at all. I remember, I got Burning Herb and I beat it in one day. That shit pissed me the f off. Like, why? When cartoon games are like this, they are a complete waste of time. They provide very little for the imagination and don't spark any joy that you would get from the series because you already know what happens. At that point, just watch the damn show. So many cartoon games love to do this. I imagine that you just saved so much time for developing them. While on the other hand, over here, we have another trilogy, Nicktoons Unite. I love these games, but again, only the first one feels impactful and satisfying. These games were all about getting the iconic Nickelodeon characters together for the first time and creating an original story around it. SpongeBob, Danny, Jimmy, and Timmy have to face off against the evil syndicate, Plankton. Vlad Plasmius, Professor Finbar Calamitous, and Crocker. What a lineup. The next two games are just rehashes of the same premise with even more characters. Hey, they were ancient evils and evil toy robots. That's some intense shit, man. It got stale so quick, and even as a kid, I wasn't that impressed by them. It didn't help that these games were all released a year apart from each other. I'll admit though, the lineup for characters for Attack of the Toy Robots was much better, but it wasn't remotely enough to save it. The list for these types of games really just goes on and on. If there's been a cartoon, good chance either a game has been made about it, or a Flash game on their website exists. These games nowadays are basically extinct. You would mainly see these games around the 2000s to late 2010s. 
After each passing year, the companies wanting to produce them just stopped caring about the market, which is very understandable. I mean, was Shaolin Showdown ever going to be a bestseller? Mind you, these are games aimed at a certain demographic. I'm not the target market anymore, but I still respect what they accomplished. They got more kids into gaming at a young age, a time when all they wanted to do was to watch cartoons, have fun, and relax. Eventually, I got tired of cartoon video games and wanted more, so I stopped playing them and found other games that started to shape my love for this industry. At the end of the day, cartoon video games were a must-have as a kid. There was just something so satisfying being able to go through a world that you only saw on TV. You got to control the characters from your favorite show. For a kid, that's all you could ever want sometimes. Well, they're no longer for me. I get them, and respect the ones that go above and beyond to create those unique experiences that people look for. Even with the significant lack of cartoon video games nowadays, I love them, but I still don't know. Is it because of the cartoons or the video games? Look, I'm just saying, either cartoons are getting bad, or I need to find a new hobby! Or new brain.